Sometimes a photograph is a statement, and sometimes a photograph is a question or an exclamation. And I think, uh, for me, the most successful photographs usually ask questions. And so there's a sense of reflection, uh, and it actually winds up creating an actual dialogue. So I did a series of pictures. Um, it was in a studio that I used to have uh, on the west side in Chelsea, and it had a great series of windows that looked out onto the street. And I got bored of just doing actual real work and started photographing the commuters as they would come to and from work. This gentleman was standing on the corner of 26th Street and 11th Avenue in the middle of winter, and a breeze came, blew up his scarf. So it was a very spontaneous moment. I didn't pose it. I don't even think this gentleman knows that it exists. When I look at this picture, I think it could have been taken in 1960 or 1990 or maybe even you know 1950. We don't know. There's you know, so it, it just makes it in a lot of ways sort of timeless. One of my favorite images took about 15 years to make, and the original image was taken on slide film uh, in Paris in the late 1990s of the Eiffel Tower underneath with a really wide angle lens. And then I went back a number of years later and re-photographed the same slide using a one-to-one -one macro lens. I took the slide and I held it up to a window and then I took the camera and held it up to the slide and re-photographed it. Because I wasn't parallel to the actual slide and the depth of field is really narrow in a macro lens, only part of the image was sharp. You know, it created something that wound up looking like a much older image, I think. Every time I look at that image, I could swear it was taken in the 1940s, but I know for a fact that's not true. So I had the opportunity to go to White Sands National Monument, and the moon was almost full, so I had an idea in my head, like, let's go to White Sands National Monument at night and photograph it by moonlight. Well, it turns out that the White Sands National Monument is closed at night, and as I'm pretty sure it's a felony to break in, uh, waited till the next morning, uh, just before sunrise, and was able to get this image. Th there's something that's almost surreal about all of the elements in the image, even though nothing has been manipulated uh, in any major way whatsoever. I took this with a longer focal length lens, I believe it was 300 millimeters, and it compresses things because you can see there's the plant in the foreground and the sand which was probably about 30 or uh, 40 feet away which is almost the same size um, as some of the elements in the background uh, the mountains on the right hand side are literally a hundred miles away but then when you think about it the moon is even further than that but all of these things have a relative presence and scale and so I think that's why this image is very successful for me. Well, one piece of advice that I would definitely give is to share your images with a bunch of people, and a bunch of different people, because you get different takes on it, and then I think you wind up understanding yourself better as well.